All right, uh, today guys, we're gonna do a little review on uh, Nova Launcher, and we're gonna kinda go through some of the settings on it and some of the features of it. So this is my phone right here. This is my uh, Galaxy Nexus. Um, and you can see the transition on this is kind of a cube looking thing, which is pretty neat. Um, so let's just kinda go through some of the stuff on here. This is the free edition, not the pro. Um, so let me just kind of go through some settings on it. Um, once you get into settings, you have select your default home, which is Nova Launcher, obviously. This is the Nova Launcher 1.3 Beta 6, which is pretty neat. It's a beta launcher there. Um, see some of their features. We have gestures. So you can pinch your fingers for a gesture. You can pinch out or swipe up, or swipe down. You can pick all those, but as you can see, these are all for Prime or the Pro version of it. If you want to use gestures, you can get it. So that's kind of neat. Um, you can pick up here different things here for, yeah, you can say home button. If you hold down your home button, it'll do different actions for you. Um, there's some things there, some long press, press options. Um, Look and feel, let's go into here. Uh, so color, your color theme, right now mine is blue. Um, I think I can change that, let's see. We'll go red and hit new, okay. Now it's gonna prepare that theme. So now all your menus should be in red. Um, Icon themes, uh, this is Jelly Bean Stock. You can go to default for Nova Launcher or you can download some other ones, uh, which has to do with your icons. Screen orientation, animation, speeds, all these things you can adjust. Um, folder previews, so you can pick the way you want your folders to look when you're looking at them. Or, um, sorry guys, hit the wrong button there. Or right here you got folder background so you can do circles squares platform custom however you want the background to look on the folder so those are some options you have there um, docs this has to do with when you have your thing plugged hooked up to a dock I don't ever use that so I'm not going to go through it um, app drawer we have your grid and you can pick how many rows how many columns for your for your app drawer um, scrolling effect so this has stacked and cubed cubed is what you saw for my my home screen and stacked I'll show you in my app drawer here let me do that really quick so this is the look of stacked it kind of pulls over the top of the last one and that is stacked so you got those options through here. Um, drawer grouping again it's for, for the paid version. Um, folders first. You got some things like that. Other little things. Um, widgets in app drawer. So you want your widgets in the app drawer, which looks like here. You got the widget button, and then you can go through your widgets, or you can take them out of the app drawer, however you want to do it. And then desktop. So here we are, yeah, desktop, let's see what we got in here. Um, desktop grid, again, you can pick how many rows, how many columns on your desktop. Um, yeah, so persistent search bar, um, right here. I have mine on always. What that does is that keeps this search bar right here always on the top of your screen, no matter what screen you're on. That's what that feature does. Um, also, you can pick your search bar style. So you can have the jelly bean look or the ice cream sandwich look, whichever one you prefer. Um, so right now I got I got jelly bean on there because that's what I'm running. But you can put either one, whichever look you like better. Uh, so we got that scrolling effects. So again, you have your you only have two options in here. You have a lot more with the pro version, but right now mine's on cubed, and you saw stack because that's how I have it in my uh, app drawer. So you have those infinite scrolling, just makes it so you can keep scrolling, 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 and it'll loop your home screens. You got that option. Um, resize all widgets, definitely I will always pick that because I like to move mine and make them different sizes and take up different space. So 
um, yeah so that's that's most of your uh, Nova launcher settings um, like I said it's a really good launcher here let's see if you can see it's right now it's not looping it's ending there see you see how it's red because red's what I picked as my uh, color so but I can make it loop and it'll just loop all the way around let's see if I can change my color really quick look and feel here's color blue new okay now let's see if it'll yeah see now it's blue when you do that so there's that's pretty much your, your color thing does um pretty neat looks like i just got an email here but uh yeah that's it that's uh nova launcher um again this is the free edition really good launcher i really do like it um it's got some decent features uh, probably next I'll do Apex Launcher. Uh, Nova Launcher I think is only for ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. Uh, I don't think it works on gingerbread. Not for sure on that, but definitely works really good on jelly bean and uh, ice cream sandwich. So uh, yeah, give uh, Nova Launcher a check out and see if you guys like it. Thanks.